I'm glad you're watching this video. We've got an important update for one of our most popular videos, Growing Vertical, a potato tower experiment. That experiment did not work out well, so we won't be using the potato tower this year. Before Wendy shows you a little later today exactly how we're gonna plant our potatoes, I wanted to come down here in our ravine because this time of year, the springtime, with the trillium blooming and our nice big ferns right by the creek with such you know, lush growth, it's just one of my favorite things. I'm a little embarrassed that I haven't done anything to clean up the storm damage from back in February. We've just made the decision to really focus on the high flat ground of our property for practical reasons. This year, it's a strange experience for me because we've got this beauty of the new growth of spring interlaced with just a lot of destruction. It's a strange combination and I just wanted to share a little bit of it before we moved on with the rest of the video. potato tower this year what we decided to do is put things into buckets mainly these five gallon buckets I also had some old planter tubs from when we bought trees and large shrubs and things like that so we're gonna use a few of those and I've got seed potatoes again and we're gonna try this again I, I feel like I had more luck with the potato grow bags than I did with the potato tower 
and I've watched some people who I got the idea from on YouTube and they were also having the same results which was interesting um, so I'm not gonna do any more potato towers particularly in this area I think we get a lot of moisture and so yeah I think this is just gonna work better but one thing I'm gonna have to do first is have Brian drill holes in the bottom of my five gallon buckets but in the meantime I can start filling up these planter buckets because they obviously already have holes so I'll set Brian to work over here on drilling some holes and we can move on from there great We've been meaning to replace the tree that had died here last year with this brand new apple tree for a little while. And Wendy happens to need a pot about this size to plant the rest of her potatoes. So it's good timing for us just to go ahead and get this in the ground. I've got it positioned right about where I want it. So I'm just gonna dig a little circle of grass out right around the perimeter of the pot and then dig down enough so that we can put the tree in the hole with some special compost that Wendy picked out. Springtime is a great time to do this kind of a thing because the ground is soft and easy to dig. Also when you're supposed to plant fruit trees. <laughs>
all chewed on. They're all chewed in. deeper than the pot for the tree. You want to tell me how deep you would like to go? Okay, so yep, just about All of this in there? Not all of it. I can do it. You want to do that part? All right. It's a little heavy. Oh. It's our coming out nice and easy though. Wait, wait, let me. Do we have one in the shed? We might have one in the shed. Stake in there with it so that I have it pushed in far enough. Okay. Right now. Is it nice and firm? So this is another Honeycrisp apple tree, one of our favorites. And apple trees seem to do really well out here. So I'm looking forward to harvesting apples eventually from this tree. <laughs> you want to do the honors? No. Okay. That's why. <laughs> You're watering your feet.
You can only really fill that thing up three quarters or it just dumps all over you. As long as we're in the mood to plant stuff, Wendy's got an elderberry. We're gonna plant it right here, kinda near the goats, hopefully far enough away from the driveway and the actual goat pin that it won't bush out too much and get eaten or trampled a little bit. I'm gonna cut it down every three years so that it grows back up, so it's gonna stay shrubby. Okay, all right. That's probably as deep as we're going to get with the roots around here. Oh, I'm not going to use the whole bag. For this. Yeah, just a little bit. Are you the YouTube star, Indigo? Uh, that's nice. Very ladylike. <laughs> All right. 